Yeah, to talk about the patterns here. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, things change. I mean, last week we were talking about either record heat or New Year record heat every day. And we said Father's Day weekend, get ready for it. Things are going to change, and that's exactly what happened. Just take a look at the precipitation calendar for the month. Yesterday, a quarter inch of rain in Denver, our wettest single day in more than a month. You'd have to go back 35 days to find a wetter day in Denver. And, of course, before yesterday, we really had seen almost nothing in terms of precipitation. We are running about an inch below normal here in June. There it is, that quarter of an inch yesterday. The last time we were that wet was the 14th of May. When we look at temperatures, first two and a half weeks of the uh, month, every day was above normal. And then finally yesterday, we broke the streak. We went 19 days because the final three days of May was above normal. We went 19 days in a row with above normal temperatures. And then yesterday, 77. Our average temperature for the month running at 74 degrees, which is 8 degrees above normal. So we'll see here what the second half of June brings us. But... Right now, I'd be surprised if the entire month doesn't end up above normal. 65 degrees, the temperature currently in Denver. It's too cool for thunderstorms right now. And if these clouds hold tight, we're not going to see any thunderstorm activity. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think these clouds are going to clear enough in the next couple of hours to allow thunderstorms to start developing. In fact, we should get up to about 80 degrees today. And again, yesterday we hit 77. So for many neighborhoods, it'll end up being a little warmer today than we were on Father's Day. Still really hot in southeast Colorado, mid-90s there, 70s in the mountains. And by the way, if if you're west of Vail Pass or even west of the Continental Divide, you're not going to see any kind of precipitation. It's going to stay dry. We've got really dry air moving in from the west. It's just going to be the front range in the eastern plains where we could see these thunderstorms. I'm going to switch over to the visible satellite here and zoom in. So this is actually what the GO-16 satellite 22,000 miles above us is seeing. And right now you can see these clouds eroding here in Arapahoe County, North, uh, northern Douglas County from Highlands Ranch up uh, to Littleton over to Centennial and southeast Aurora. And so I think this is where we're going to start watching first for the development of thunderstorms. Temperatures are already a lot warmer on the south side of town where we're seeing a lot more sunshine. Castle Rock up to 74 versus our 66 here in Denver and 65 up to the north in Loveland. So here's the future cast and this is one possible scenario here as we go through the afternoon. 5 p.m. thunderstorms mainly on the north side of town but again since we've cleared out so much on the south side of town I wouldn't be surprised to see more storms than this weather model is suggesting down that way. The bottom line is all of us in the Denver metro area have the chance for seeing a late day thunderstorm or two and these storms will be capable of producing some large hail and damaging wind. By 9 o'clock this evening the storm activity should be up along on the I-76 corridor in northeast Colorado, so Fort Morgan, Sterling, Julesburg, Holyoke, Akron, all those areas. Certainly by sunset, most of the activity will be east of us. So we're going to say a 40% chance for a thunderstorm here this afternoon. Again, a few storms could be strong or severe. Tomorrow, 74, another 40% chance for a late-day storm. Wednesday, storm chance goes down to 30%, and then after that, sunny, warm, and dry for the end of the week. We start building the temperatures back up Friday, 86 degrees. All right,